Arc Knights is back with season two, and last year, season one, out of nowhere, the video started doing well because there was a core Arc Knights community that wasn't part of my community, but they still wanted to watch it. And that was great. But I'm not sure if you guys are still here anymore. And I pulled for it. It didn't look too good in terms of what my community wants to watch. But still, for old time's sake, I'll try one episode. And if it continues to do well, we'll continue the series. Let's begin. So what happened at the end? I think there's a whole shit going down with Lungman. Uh, we killed some siblings. The girl, the brother. Right, the brother died. And then the girl took the brother's place and they got. she got converted and... We killed the girl though, didn't we? Didn't? Didn't we kill the girl? I forget exactly the details. But it was a sad ending. Oh, oh. My favorite thing about these reunion members is that obviously if they're wearing masks, they're not like important characters. So, like they obviously can't give a design, a waifu design to every reunion foot soldier. You can already tell by the breath, it's kind of cold around here. It's like a winter area, yeah? The promotion um, poster of season two looked very cold too. It looked like some kind of silver-haired girl was like locked up somewhere. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've forgotten pretty much every name of the cast in season one, but I'll remember them slowly. I, She's the main character. She had a really cool thing where she went like this and it went like crazy and I think it killed that girl. I think that's the girl, her, her mask, was it, from before? I, I forget. The trauma scene, showing the backstory. And then I remember there's Talala, who's like the, the enemy boss of the reunion, right? There's one more reunion member that I really love. She was like a joker almost. She was in last season, last arc. She, she, I, I don't know how to describe her other than she's like a joker. Oh, this is us. Dokta. <laughs> Dokta. Amia, that's right. Oh, I'm remembering now. Remember Mr. Ace, the captain? Remember he fucking just sacrificed himself? Dude, what a man. Take off that mask. Hmm? The rings are changing? Does that relate to how she can't control her powers at times? Is she like main mommy here? She seems very important. I don't remember her. <laughs> oh, she's just walking outside in the rain, just feeling it all. Fucking Link listening to Linkin Park. At the end, it didn't even matter. I don't even know if that's Linkin Park, actually. You can't save everyone, though. That's, that is the problem with this ideology, is that you can't save everyone. It's not practical, right? Okay, look at the rings. Are her rings changing? Allow the rage to consume you. Are we gonna get a dark Amia? What do you mean? I kind of want to see like an edgy dark Amia, man. Amia alter ego. Oh. We're still in Lungman? Are we? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's that's very cute. Chen's like, bitch, you're wasting my time. <laughs> no, no, Chen's not mean. She was actually very nice to the orphans. <laughs> Get that out of my face. No, no, she would never do that. She, she actually is a super softy inside, but she has like a hard exterior. Oh, see head pets. You know, this doll is reminding me of the promise that we made to that girl that died in Lungman last se season, remember? I think the orphans are saying, we'll make those dolls together again, right? Nope, she dead. Hmm. Okay, her name was Misha. That's right, that was Misha. Damn, Amiya is so emo. I mean, it makes sense, but last season she was quite idealistic and hopeful. This season is just... sad. That girl, I cannot, ex I cannot say her name. It's like ex Exusia. <laughs> What's her name? Exusia. I just call her Exu. Oh, I haven't heard that in a long time. That girl always calls Amiya Usagi-chan or gives other people like nicknames. It's very cute. She is probably my favorite, the one on the far right. She's very fun, you know? Kind of like provocative, I don't know. And her voice acting too, it perfectly captures her entire persona. Right, Penguin Logistics is like a third party group that's working with our group, I forget. Bye bye. Did I just read Hasta La Vista there? Yetis? The, the mythological creature, the Yeti? Reunion and this guy's name is Mef 
Bisto or something? I forget. It actually makes... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was this the Joker? I'm pretty sure this was the one that I loved in season one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I know that she had a silver hair like that. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, Ada. Oh. That voice actor is great. No! Frostbite, get in there, big slam! Okay, so they are a part of her crew. Okay, okay. They're just doing some kind of expedition by themselves. The recon squad, okay. Yo, provide some backup! Yeah, there's a shield girl, yeah! We, we took Chen and the shield girl. Wasn't she like really integral to the special forces and Longman? But okay. Dude, Chen just has such a giga chat voice. I'm just starting to realize this again. Her voice is just... I don't know how to describe it other than it's just giga chat. It's kind of beautiful how everything is just frozen like that. Yo, whose voice is that? Someone's like panting. Oh, is, is it Amiya? No, no, it wasn't Amiya. There's someone else. Maybe it's just background noises. And it's not somebody. Hmm? Why? Oh, and they're already kind of infected, so it shouldn't matter, but... What's up, Chen? What, 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 what? Behind, behind you, behind you, behind you, what, what, what? Who? Who is this? Wait, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What was the hair? What was that red hair? That her? Wait, that's her! I, I saw a different streak of hair for a second, but okay, fuck. How are we? Okay, everybody's getting in here. Let's just fight. Mm. I'm gonna burn. Is that frost burns? Frostbite. Someone is ice powers. Who's using all these ice powers? Exactly who is she looking for? She's looking for the Joker, right? I forget her name. It sucks. But the girl that was with Nisha in last season was kind of like... Not controlling her, basically, but like kind of pushing her over the edge, right? Still idealistic as ever. Imagine Chen got infected by Originium right now just because you ran all this far. That'd be sad. The fuck? He touched the wall and got caught. Oh! Hey! It's a Frostbite! What was the name? Frost something. Frost Tail? I forget. Something so funny about little cute girls with big weapons, frost leaf. Like you'll notice in a lot of animes, these lollies. She's not really a lolly, I can't really tell, but little girls using gigantic weapons like a hammer, an axe. The gap moe is just cute. Based on her voice acting, maybe she's a kudere. I don't know. Okay, that's the only guy I actually got his name right, Mephisto. Ooh. Wait, they got her friends all? Yamiya, do that thing with your hands and fucking go brrr and then just fucking black red spear attack magic. Wait, the phone just got frozen? That's a new way of disabling comms. Who's far more terrifying than... That person that Mephisto was scared about during the talk. Who, who was it? Meteorito. Jesus Christ. Meteorite. Meteor... Oh my god, damn. I'm gonna just call her Meteor. Should've just let you die here, yeah? <laughs> Jessica, finally a normal name. Thank god, an actual normal name. Jessica, thank you. Wow. Yo, she's got some crazy PTSD. Amiya! Fucking black red magic spear thing. Boom, kill. Oh. Gasoline? We're just gonna light this place on. It kind of looks like he's taking a piss because of the lighting, but wait, what are we doing? Fire here? I mean. Okay, I mean, it's kind of cold, but. Okay. Thanks for heating it up. I was cold. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> that laugh was funny to me. <laughs> He's still going! That smell. What is that? It's like an X shaped on the building. I don't get the significance of the smell or the burning. What? 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 
No more emo Amiya? Oh, oh shit! Amiya's becoming incredibly fucking stoic and just... What the fuck? I thought I'd take her a couple episodes to recover. But she's like, no, I must witness this myself. What is the smell, I wonder? Just like you, you're scared of that other person they were talking about. What is scary about the X burning on the building? Here we go. Here we go. Kill him just like how you killed me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. No! Is that cliffhanger? No, 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 it's not. Okay, okay. Someone started to play the piano though. Who's who? What's going on? Jessica, shh! Jessica, shh! Who is it? The source of the ice? Who is it? Oh, shit. Yo, this might be even cooler than Talala's like entrance scene. Some kind of ice queen is about to show up. Who? Who? Oh shit, look at her! Dude, look at that walk with her fucking gay! <laughs> I don't know who it is though. Who is it? High ranking member of the reunion? Nightmare of the Northwest Tundra. The Yeti Princess? Furostanova. <laughs> that guy, that voice acting, man. This one's called Conspiracy, huh? Furostanova. <laughs> If that was Mrs. at the end with the voice acting, like, kudos to you. That's actually pretty good. Now, again, like, there's a lot of things I've forgotten obviously in season one. And I'm probably getting a lot of things wrong, but I like to think that the girl, the reunion girl, the silver hair girl that I was talking to Mephisto, right, and kind of bantering, was the Joker girl that was basically pushing Misha to over the edge in season one. And of all the reunion members, I like her the most, if that is indeed her, because she just seems to be so unpredictable. And I think she has ulterior motives that doesn't really, you know, um, lie with the interest of the reunion per se. I think she has her own different thing. I'm pretty sure she saved us once too in like the earlier part of season one. And the princess of the yetis. Okay, when I think about yetis, I think about like big burly monsters. So when I see like a wife feel like that, I'm like kind of weird, but still her design is amazing. And her entire walk is cool. And her frost powers to just engulf all the flames and ice, amazing. How are we gonna get out of this? We need some plot armor, but hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, Take care.